Hello friends, this is Zots for the most part, and today we're going to talk about Plot Twist, a recently released perk from the Nicolas Cage character that is honestly incredible. I don't think the average player realizes just how good this perk is. It is a bit of a Swiss knife where it does one thing and one thing very well, but also has a lot of other extra utility. And I've been writing down little uses for this perk and little ways that it can help you and your team. And every single time I find more and more uses. Today I'm gonna to share all of the ones that I found and you're gonna see it's gonna be a mouthful. So what is the perk good for? This perk allows you to down yourself and heal on the ground. I mean, this is useful while you're healing on the ground. You can see your teammates. Uh, it takes 30 seconds or so to heal on the ground. So you can use this time to wait out a deadlock, to wait for someone to open a gate, to wait out a reassurance if someone's being camped in the end game. Uh, you can also just heal yourself to be healthy uh, instead of having a med kit or something else that you might've lost during the game. So this is really really nice. You could even make it faster by adding perks like Unbreakable and Exponential, which can make the self-heal speed really, really quick. But the truth is, even if you don't have any of these perks, it will still probably save you time. Keep in mind that there are a lot of perks that make healing very, very slow, especially if they stack, and make it easy to interrupt. But when you heal on the ground, there's almost no killer perks that can make you heal slower. So you won't be affected by anything such as Sloppy or anything like that. Not only that, there will be situations where you have to mend. Let's say you got hit by a lesion and you might even be broken. And in these situations, you would need to wait out the broken timer, which could be anywhere from 30 to 60 or 90 seconds, and then have to deep wound off and then start healing. That would be a long time. But with this perk, you can actually flop yourself, completely ignore the deep wound, and start healing through the broken. As long as you pick yourself up by the time the broken is gone, you will be fully healed. You can also use it a little bit more aggressively in chase. If you notice that a killer has a perk like Sloppy or Jolt that would hit a generator that you're about to um, go down next to, you can down yourself and the perks will not trigger. You will also avoid giving stacks or say the best for last. If the killer picks you up, by the way, you don't lose the perk. I thought this was a bug, but apparently it's a feature. So you can down yourself and the killer will pick you up and you don't lose it, which means that you can use this perk very aggressively against a variety of killers. For example, let's say you're going against a Myers that has a tombstone and you don't have a locker nearby, you can flop yourself and he can't kill you. Uh, if you pick up the box against Pinhead, by the way, and you flop yourself, for some reason, that counts as solving the box. So even if you're about to go down and he's about to down you, you can flop yourself with plot twist and the box will be automatically completed, which is really, really impossible for him to do anything about. If you're about to get hit by a Sadako while holding a tape, you can also flop yourself and she will not build up to condemn, which is really, really critical. So against this killer, you should never really do uh, get condemned when you're injured. You can also be on the ground and this will prevent any form of condemn. So while you're healing on the ground and she comes out of a TV, you don't get condemned. Uh, while you're on the ground, Freddy's sleep timer doesn't begin. Uh, Wesker's infection is paused. You cannot get hit by the doctor madness. There's so many things you, you, you just can't really be hit by. Uh, it also pauses the timer for the pick's reverse bird trap. So if you're worried that you might run out of time, you can heal yourself on the ground and the timer will be grayed out and paused. And if by some miracle the timer is about to kill you and you can't possibly search the last box, you can also flop yourself on the ground and hope that your teammates uh, leave the game and maybe you get the hatch, which is something that no other perk can do. There's also a lot of little benefits that being on the ground can have against a variety of killers. Against Oni, for example, you don't draw blood like you normally would when you're healing normally. Against, uh, against the Dredge, he doesn't get extra nightfall charges. And there's so many killers that would like to hit you and infect you, like, like for example, Nemesis. And strategically, you can down yourself and not give them the infection to delay their strength, which can be quite, quite strong. There's also a few other tricks that you can do against specific killers to maybe trick them into vaulting a window when they don't want to, to maybe trick them into falling out of a platform and potentially waste a lot of time. Or even if, if you're very cheeky, you could even trick them into breaking a breakable wall that is actually not good for them to break. That allows you to loop a building more efficiently. That's a bit of an advanced one, but it's something you can do. Uh, if you're trying to set up a pallet rescue, there's also a lot of killers that can pull you out of a pallet, like Wesker and especially Deathslinger. But if you flop yourself on the ground, then they cannot pull you and now you'll be able to use whatever you want. Uh, this can also happen in the exegates. If you think that a killer is about to somehow uh, grab you with their power, you could use a last second plot twist to make sure 
that you can down yourself and not be uh, grabbed last second. This is also an extremely useful thing to do if you notice that your team has multiple people being slugged. In this situation, the killer wants to down you and then go for the last person, right? Well, if you down yourself with plot twists, either the killer will pick you up and then they're no longer slugging and you give your time, your team time to pick themselves up or they leave you on the ground and then you pick yourself up full health. So it's a lose-lose situation for a slugging killer if you use plot twists right before they down you. Uh, this also allows you to set up a lot of perks. You can have someone use, for example, a plot twist so that you can come in and use for the people buckle up, which will protect you both. You can also use it on yourself with power struggle and flip flop. And if the killer doesn't pick you up immediately, they will literally be in a loose loose situation. What if they leave you on the ground, you pick yourself up at full health. And if they pick you up, you use the pallet and drop them. You can also use this with decisive strike if you want to force it on the killer. Um, and also use it with other perks that trigger when a heal is completed, such as Soul Guard on yourself from the ground, or for example, um, the current uh, made for this. So in this example, I use this perk to pick myself up, and even if the killer has an insta down, it doesn't matter because I have endurance from Soul Guard. And yeah, there are even more uses. Let's talk about some of them. You can also trick the game into thinking that there's only one survivor left. Uh, for example, in this situation against Pinhead, there's only two survivors left, right? Everybody else is dead, let's say. And we are being assailed by chains. We can't heal, we can't do anything. But if I drop myself on the ground, I can heal. And because there's only one survivor left, the Ada doesn't get attacked by chains because they don't work on the last survivor. She also has the perk um, a low profile, so the perk triggers and she doesn't leave blood, cannot be seen by Aras and so on and so forth. They We trigger this perk by using plot twists, even though technically I'm not incapacitated. Uh, this is a bit of a meme one, but you can also use it to disable corrupt at the start of the game. Uh, it's typically not worth it, but I know some teams like to do it. Um, this is also pretty obvious, but if you use it in the end game, you will slow down the timer so other teammates have more time to do things they might need to do. And you also show your aura to everyone. When you flop yourself on the ground, you're visible to everyone. So if there's one teammate that's not very sure where the exigate is, you can down yourself by the exigate, heal there, and they might see it and realize where the exigate is. Uh, this is also a bit more situational, but sometimes you will notice that some killers have perks like Eruption that you can trigger on your own accord by going down whenever you want to trigger that perk. And if you do this at the right time, you can sometimes trigger those perks to have the cooldown a little bit earlier before they do real, real damage. Uh, this is a crazy one, but you can also turn one heal into three heals. If your teammate has auto die you can let them, you can let them heal uh, almost, almost fully. They get some stacks. Then you flop yourself on the ground, and then you let them heal you completely. This will not heal you fully, and then you let them heal you again, and most likely by then they will have five stacks. Just by one heal, five stacks already probably, which is really, really good. And honestly, even when recording these clips for this video, we learned of more and more, and, and, and honestly, I had to choose not to include every single one, but there's still more tricks out there to be learned. This perk really is incredible, and you should give it a try.